each scenario listed on the left, determine whether the scenario represents an independent sample or matched pairs situation by placing the appropriate letter in the box provided. So what we're going to do is read each one of these and determine if it is matched pairs or independent samples. So we're looking to see if there's a way that you can connect the two measurements in a way that pairs two measurements to one individual. So the first one says comparing the number of speeding tickets received by men to the number received by women. So that doesn't say that we're going to take one man and compare his number of speeding tickets with, say, his wife's or his girlfriend's number of speeding tickets. That would provide a way of pairing. Here it's just in general men compared to in general women. So this would be independent. So we are going to use A for matched pairs and B for independent samples. So we'll choose B. The next one says comparing pain levels of a group receiving a placebo. Okay, so that's the first one, comparing pain levels in general, pain levels. And so the first group is the group receiving a placebo compared with a group receiving medicine. So again, there's no way to pair them. It's just in general, all the people that received the placebo compared with, in general, all the people who received medication. So again, I would choose B for that, meaning independent samples, not matched, not paired. The next one says comparing pretest scores before training compared with post-training. Okay, so before the training and after, before and after. So that is paired, right? Because you would look at one person give them a test before they're trained and see what they score, then give them some training and test them again and see if there was improvement. So the same person is being tested before and after and you're comparing that one person's before score to their after score. So that is a matched pair scenario. Next, we have comparing pain levels again, but now we're comparing a before and after treatment, before and after treatment with magnetic therapy. So once again, you could have one patient that comes in with some sort of chronic pain and you get them to rate their level of pain and then you treat them with the magnet therapy and ask them to rate their pain afterward and see if there was improvement, right? So again, we have matched pairs and let's submit that. Let's see if there's anything different here. So when I regenerated this question, it looks like it's giving me the same examples again. So then, yes, it looks like it's the same examples over and over again. So that's it for this video.